politicians, U.S. politicians are threatening crypto uh, exchanges once again. Pantera Capital, COO, lives after just two months. And the Mt. Gox uh, release has been extended to September uh, 15th. I will let you know if this is good or bad for the price of Bitcoin. But let's start with... Uh, there's uh, politicians in the U.S. So they sent a letter to uh, different crypto exchanges. And these are the exchanges that uh, got the letter. Binance, Coinbase, FTX, Kraken, and KuCoin. They have received a letter from one of the U.S. government's leading investigative bodies. Demanding they prove that they've been sticking to a number of safety measures designed to protect investors. Okay, I think this is a good uh, thing because uh, it's over because of what, what just happened with uh, Celsius and uh, Voyager and other crypto ex exchanges around the world. Overall, I, I think... Uh, it's good that they're looking after looking out for investors, but uh, I also want to see them sending letters to uh, government agencies like the SEC. The SEC has been has been uh, taking money from crypto companies for years now. Uh, I wish they would go after the SEC. They have had uh, Gary Gensler testify, but they don't really ask him. Uh, uh, th there is no action. They ask him question, questions, but they take no action. Now, what Gary Gensler, Gensler has been doing is uh, they he is the head of the SEC, and the SEC does not want to enact rules and guidelines for the crypto uh, crump companies to follow. So if there is no rules to follow, there is no guidelines these crypto companies, they're just going at it blindly. Like, they don't know what's going on. And uh, then uh, this SEC calls them and says, like, hey, you broke this law. And then uh, even though that law does not exist, even though there is no guidelines. Uh, and I believe that's why they're, the SEC is not offering any guidelines. Because if they offered guidelines, then... Most crypto companies, because most crypto companies are legit uh, people that are trying to, to work on a uh, good project. And most of them would follow whatever guidelines there are. Now, if they followed all the guidelines, then the SEC couldn't go and be like, hey, give me a billion dollars. Give me five million dollars. Give me this. Give me that. Because that's what they're doing. They're basically taking money from crypto exchanges uh, crypto companies, uh, even crypt crypto users. So that's what the SEC is doing, and I I wish the Congress would do the same thing to uh, government agencies. And uh, also in the letter, they refer to crypto as scammers' favored means of payment. Now, actually, if you want to say that, then you could say actually the no the dollar. Is the favorite favorite uh, means of payment for scammers. Uh, now we know the dollar is an incredibly useful instrument. We're not gonna blame the dollar for what, for what criminals do. Criminals are criminals, scammers, whatever. We can't blame uh, crypto because of those people. Uh, now, I I understand that they're trying to. Uh, protect the people but what they the, the comment on this letter is just ridiculous it, it just makes uh people be more uh, uh if, if if someone sees those news and then they see that they see that the congress wrote this letter that and then it, it says that crypto is for scammers then people are going to be uh scared of crypto and that's not right um it's just not good for for 
crypto adoption. Uh, but yeah, this is what the letter says. The letter says the letter, which refers to crypto as scammers favored means of payment came from the United States House of House Committee on Oversight and Government Reform and request that companies release official documents to demonstrate how the company is co combating crypto related fraud. Okay, so this is uh, all the documents that they want. They want documents regarding efforts to combat crypto-related scams and fraud and inform consumers about the risks related to investments in cryptocurrencies. All documents regarding the pro their processes to identify, investigate, and remove or flag potentially fraudulent digital assets or accounts used on their product. All documents setting out their policies governing cryptocurrencies, cryptocurrency traders. As you can see, they want all the documents. Uh, they want everything from these uh, exchanges. Uh, most exchanges, they're going to comply uh, because they have most of, most of them. They have nothing to ha n nothing to hide. But uh, I just wish that they would go after uh, the SEC. Just how they're going. Uh, after uh, these crypto exchanges, uh, you know, it's just, I, it, you might think that I'm uh, exaggerating uh, with the comments I've made about the SEC, but this, that's literally what they do. They, they're, they're, they're taking, the, they're threatening people. They're like, hey, uh, it seems like you broke the law, so we need to settle now. They take them to court. And then at the end of the day, they get a payment. The SEC gets a payment. Uh, they're also doing. Uh, um, they, they also only go after companies that they're not uh, invested in, and that's just clear corruption. Uh, I bet you they're not going after the companies that Gary Gensler has invested in. They're not. Go they will not go after those, whether it's crypto or or not crypto, but. They will not go after those. So they're uh, they're making uh, they're choosing favorites, and that's not good. It's not good for competition. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on with Congress uh, right now. And now the COO of Pantera Capital quits after just two months in the job. Now Pantera Capital is a a a crypto hedge uh hedge fund manager so ventura capital is a crypto focused venture capital and hedge fund with over 4.7 billion in assets under management according to its website the, the fund recently also lost its general counsel joe Sitowski. now it's not. I don't see it as a good sign that uh, this guy Samir Shah, the COO, he go he comes in and then he quits right away. Uh, what worries me that is that he maybe he saw something that is not good for. Uh, maybe he saw that there was not good. Maybe he saw something that is just not good for uh, crypto, and he didn't want to be part of it. And uh, he quits because he had a really good position at J.P. Morgan. Then he, he, he quits that J.P. Morgan and he joins Pantera Capital Group. And just two months in, he's like, uh, I'm done with this. Uh, so that's not good. I don't know what this guy saw that uh, he didn't like. But uh, that's what's going on. Hopefully uh, there is nothing illegal going on over at the Pantera Group. Uh, because that wouldn't be good for crypto if someone with that much power in our crypto, 4.7 billion, it wouldn't be good if someone with that much power uh, is accused of uh, something. Uh, right now, we don't need anything, uh, any more crypto, uh, uh, you know, crime-related uh, stories. Because uh, people that don't know, they're going to believe that crypto is all about uh, committing crimes or stealing money. It's not like that at all. But uh, that's what uh, these articles, like the one from uh, 
from Congress. That's what Congress is making it seem like. Now, let's talk about Bitcoin. Bitcoin price. Will it go up? Will it go down? So, once again, Mount Gox. Again, same story. We've been talking about this for uh, years now. Uh, now, I remember about two years ago, you know, they, they uh, released statements that... Uh, they were going to start releasing the the Bitcoin back to its uh, owners, to the their clients. So Mt. Gox was a uh, an exchange that uh, lost was hacked and then lost the Bitcoin that belonged to a lot of uh, investors, just uh, retail investors and and uh, institutional investors. A lot of people lost their Bitcoin now. Because of a lawsuit, now this exchange finally is, uh, they finally settled and supposedly they they were going to start the repayment plan uh, during the month of August. Well, that's not happening. Uh, it was just released that uh, it's going to be moved uh, to September 15th. Okay, September 15th. Document published on the platform's website on August 31st reveals the assignment restriction reference period has been accepted by the court and starts September 15th and ends at an undefined period. So the payments could start uh, on September 15th. That's the news uh, that it has been extended. That's that's what's new. We already knew that uh, it's going to be uh, overall... People were worried that uh, once there was a, a a date that on the same day uh, all this Bitcoin was going to be released to these people and then they were going to sell on the same day. But no, it's uh, like I told you guys yesterday. Uh, it was it's actually going to be over a period of months. It's going to be a slow slow process. But uh, now, like I said, it was going to start in August, but now it's moved to September fifteenth. Personally, personally, um, I feel like uh, the price of Bitcoin is not going to move too much because it's going to be a smooth process. It's going to take some time for all this Bitcoin to be returned to its previous owners. They might sell. Uh, most people will sell because they're in profit. I think they might sell, but some will not sell, and because uh, they know, they know that uh, I wouldn't be surprised if most of them didn't sell because they know what's coming they know bitcoin is once again uh gonna go up to all-time heights in the next bull run uh and uh th what's interesting is that new all-time highs are always way higher than the previous all-time high like if it was 70 it'll probably go to like 150 so they know what's going on so i'm pretty sure some people won't sell but personally with this uh mount gox thing I wish they would just uh, start releasing this Bitcoin back to its uh, to these investors that lost money, that lost Bitcoin, because we, we've seen this story for years now. Uh, every couple uh, every couple months, we see Mt. Gox is going to release this, and then it drops the Bitcoin price, and then a couple months go by, nothing happens. Then again and again and again. And uh, if the Bitcoin price is going to go down, I, it might as well. I hope they just it happens now instead of because this Mt. Gox story is just a long story. And I hope uh, we were done with this. Uh, but yeah, that's what's going on in the markets today in the crypto world. Congress going after uh, crypto exchanges. Mt. Gox changed the release date. Uh, and uh, the Pantera Capital Group, the COO, uh, he quit his job. Uh, subscribe and thank you.